Hello, our dear network creators. My name is Vladimir. I'm account manager at NIN. And thank you all for being with us for such a long time. And it, it is a pleasure for me to be um, the host of this webinar today. Well, as you might hear, I'm not a native speaker, so excuse, excuse me my accent. And um, this is volume one, so uh, please don't be too strict. And uh, next time we'll do better with your feedback, of course. Um, this is not a one-time webinar since we are going to do this on the regular basis. So it is 7 p.m. London time and 3 p.m. in New York and uh, let's get started. Um, our marketing specialist Andrew will be helping me today to moderate the chat of this meeting and uh, we have planned a 30-40 minutes platform introduction and after that, it will be 20 minutes for a Q&A session. Um, the questions that um, I will not be able to answer today for the lack of time or because I don't have an answer at the moment, we will try to answer later in the form of an email or uh, we will record a video answer. And if you don't have time now, uh, we will upload the recording of this webinar to our YouTube channel uh, so that you will be able to uh, view it later. And um, during today's webinar, I won't be able to cover all aspects of 3.0 platforms since um, a lot more time is required. And this is going to be a very brief overview uh, to show you the key differences between 2.0 and uh, 3.0 networks that could benefit you and uh, your community. And also please note that the information I will be representing uh, on today's webinar requires some experience with a 2.0 network, uh, so to make it more sense. And I hope it's going to be informative and interesting to you. And also since we are uh, receiving a lot of migration requests, uh, I will explain to you uh, how it works today as well. And uh, one more thing to mention uh, before we continue that um, this stream goes with a 10, 20 seconds delay. Uh, so let's start by reviewing the platform. And um, currently I'm logged in as an admin into our test uh, uh, 3.0 network. And I want to <clears throat> start by reviewing this uh, social site manager tool. So if we go here, um, 3.0 introduces you to a um, conceptually different approach to structuring your uh, network and content on your network. So now uh, you can control the layout of each page and the positioning of um, the different features on each page separately. So uh, let's review this media page, for example. As you can see, it has uh, two features, like video feature and the photo feature. And if we go to uh, the front end to see how it looks, we can see that videos here, photos here. So now if I want to um, add some additional feature to this page, I can click on Add Content and choose, well, let's say, Activity Feed. I'm adding it, saving it. So now it has been added to this page. And if I don't want uh, this page to have this uh, structure, I could uh, change the layout of the page like to one column layout or two column layout or make it three column layout like this. And I can drag features here and here. I can add more features. Let's say I, can, I want to add some HTML blocks. Um, the, the, the HTML block here is um, the same as um, text box on 2.0, but the difference is that um, the content on this box should be written here on the back end from the admin side, not on the front end uh, like it was before. So I can just uh, um, save it, refresh the page. As you can see, it uh, changed the structure of this page. So, and th this approach could be applied to any other page on the network. Um, as for the features, um, now each feature is uh, represented as a page with a corresponding type. So, let's say if I want to add um, an instance of the blog on my network. So, I just click on add a page and I can choose mm, the blog page type. 
So I can just save it. Oops. Save it. Refresh the page, and it will instantly appear in the main navigation tab. Um, as you notice, I can add as many block uh, instances as I want. So um, it also uh, applies to any other type of uh, features. Like I can add as many articles, events, uh, video pages, as many as I want. And if I don't want um, the main navigation menu to be crowded with uh, all these items, I can just simply uh, take like some of them and uh, drag it down to unlinked pages. And if I refresh, you will see it disappeared from the main navigation. But the content from this page, it still exists. And if, I, and if I want uh, to content on this page to be shown uh, somewhere on another page in my network, I just simply can um, click here or just here on any page, and click on Add Content, and choose uh, the block. As you can see, I can choose this block and this block. So these are two different uh, feature instances with, uh, that have two different uh, set of contents. contents. Just save it, and if I view the events page, now I will see also uh, the blocks underneath. So if I don't need some pages, I can just simply um, remove it. Another very important thing that was introduced is that each feature could have a uh, separate category, so uh, up to 50 different categories. And uh, let's uh, examine on the uh, on this particular blog page. As you can see, currently it has a city and the village category. And if we go to this page, let's view it. And I will see them here. So what means uh, that, that means that if I want to view um, all blogs uh, that are related to uh, this particular topic, I just click here and see all of them here. So um, the, the, the same approach could be applied to all other pages. So I can uh, have uh, multiple categories for video feature, for photo feature, and etc. So, and the, the combination of multiple feature instances and multiple categories of each feature uh, will give you a lot more flexibility in structuring your content on your network. And that will uh, drastically is the user experience when, when it comes to finding the items with uh, under, under specific topic. Um, and if I open uh, the particular blog item, let's go to the edit mode. Um, as you can see, I can uh, add a thumbnail photo as a header to this particular uh, blog item. Um, the body of the blog post can be customized as well. So I can um, add some different images inside the body of the blog post, uh, attach media files, attach PDF files. Um, so and here you can see these categories. Then the, the one item could be in one or in many categories. It's uh, up to you to decide. And also, of course, uh, each item could have a tag. So, um, and items could be found by tags as well. Um, also, I'm able to uh, change the publishing date of the particular item as well. So if I want to delay this uh, publishing of this block, I can change it to another date. And also I can control the level of visibility of this uh, particular item. It could be visible to everyone or only to network members. So. And another thing that if I want to um, make access to this uh, item paid, I can just simply click here and choose a paywall. Um, we will talk about the paywalls a bit uh, later in this session. Um, since, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to dwell upon all available features since most of them uh, work the same way as in 2.0, like videos, photos, forums, um, and uh, we don't have enough time. So I will emphasize what is new and what has changed. 
uh, let's uh, examine the profile page. Uh, some of 2.0 customers are concerned that members are not able to um, manage the look of their profile page uh, like they are able to on 2.0 network. Um, well, it, it's partially true, uh, but it, it's just a bit different now. Uh, as a network creator, um, you can control the layout. Like you said, the layout and the position of different features on the profile page of the member. Uh, let's examine the profile page of the admin on the front end. As you can see, uh, I've headed here the about section that contains the um, answers to profile questions of the member. Also, there is members customizable HTML block. Um, here, the member can add any custom information that they want to have on their profile page. Uh, it has a comment wall where members can write comments and um, it, there are other different items that could be added to profile page by the admin. So, um, for example, achievements. We will talk about achievements uh, when we go to a members management section. It's basically, um, it will display the number of points that the member uh, earned uh, on the network by performing some like activity. Uh, we can add the activity feed module that will uh, show the recent activity of the member. Also, we can add articles, feed, a blog feed. Um, we can add list of friends of members. We can add uh, the list of groups the member is a part of. And also, we can add uh, my account. My account is will, will be necessary if you're planning to monetize your network. So this is will be a personal uh, e-commerce cabinet of your members uh, where they can manage the payments uh, on your network. Like they, they can track the history of, of invoices. Uh, they can cancel the recurring subscription and uh, etc. Uh, so the certain degree of profile page customization by your member is possible um, through members customizable HTML blocks. And also, uh, members can change the cover uh, of their profile cover photo. So, by uploading it here. Um, another feature that changed is a group feature. Let's examine it. In order to have a group in your network, uh, we would need to add the group hub page on the back end. So, it's been already added here. Um, so basically now each uh, group, it's like a, a network within a network. Since each group could have its own set of pages, could have its own members, own um, content, um, admins level of accessibility and visibility. And as a group uh, admin, I am able to manage uh, the pages of this group. And if I, if, if I check this block page, and as you can see, it's entirely different block page and it's not related to the one that we added um, on the network itself. So the content from this page could be viewed only inside the group. So if I want to uh, manage what features will be shown on the group, and if I uh, I need to go to this uh, Manage Pages section. And as, as, as you can see, it has a pretty similar view as it is in the Siding Pages section. So inside the group, the logic of adding uh, different uh, pages and different features is exactly the same as it's uh, in, in the big uh, Siding Pages section. Uh, so if I want to add, let's say, add a video feature instance, uh, I need to add the video page inside the group. And so, and this um, pages uh, page will instantly appear here. Um, each page inside the group could have its own level of visibility. I can control it here. So I can make it visible uh, only to site members or only to group members or only to members. Uh, to, to admins, or um, I can change the contribution permission so that uh, members can add videos here as well. 
Um, and also, if I go to Edit Group sec Section, I can control the level of accessibility of the group. So I can define who can join. So anyone or only invited members. Uh, also, groups have different categories that can be managed here as well. And also, I define the overall visibility of the group here as well. Um, such a degree of group customization allows you to facilitate a lot of uh, different use cases. For example, uh, you can put some video tutorials inside the group, and you can put uh, the paywall around this group, so that way you can monetize your video tutorials. Um, and once again, we will talk about the paywalls in a moment. And let's just examine a poll page. Again, in order to have uh, this page, this feature, I, I need to edit first uh, in the site and pages section. So um, poll, um, basically, it's, it's a great tool to uh, gauge the opinion of your members on uh, different topics. And polls could be represented as um, a question that uh, presupposes a answer or as a uh, question with a list of choices to pick from. Like, let's, this is a question that presupposes an answer, so we can write it here. And this is a question with multiple choices. So I already voted for this one, and that way we can track what members can think on different topics. Yeah. Um, another feature that was introduced is a landing page builder. And if I go to the base URL of this network, I will land on the home page. So uh, from where the members can get into the network. So here uh, we can see the name of this network, the about section, the description of different uh, benefits of the network. Also, we can set up a multi-level membership subscription here. Uh, we can see the success stories, uh, footer. And let me show it how it works on the back end. So we would need to go to, again, to the side and pages section, and we would need to add a page with a landing type, landing page type. So it's, it's already created, and as if, if you notice, here it is. So we can just click on edit layout and content and see how this uh, builder uh, looks from, from the inside. It offers you a um, different uh, inbuilt templates that you can choose from here. Um, you can moderate these templates on fly. Uh, for this, you can add uh, different uh, presets. So let's say if I want to um, add some additional block of content, I click Add here, and we have uh, there is a list of different presets to choose from. You can choose the one that uh, suits your particular use case, like for example, like this. Um, you can change and fly the default texting like easily, like text. Um, you can uh, attach different links to buttons. Uh, you can change the default pictures that were added by the system. Uh, you can view the changes from different uh, mobile uh, devices, like this is a mobile device simulator. And the, another important thing is that you have access to the back end of the page. So which means that, well, if you're familiar with the web development, um, you can basically hard code some um, additional features here. And even if you have a uh, some ready template that you wish to use that was uh, built by some third-party service, you can just simply copy and paste it. Um, well, uh, let me close it. So um, that's it for the social site manager, uh, for site and pages section for now. Well, there are other different features that are works pretty similar as in 2.0. So I will just uh, show you the ones that are not available on 2.0. So it's disk usage. Basically, now uh, you have 
access to all the files that were uploaded on your network, like different pictures, uh, different uh, blog attachments, um, etc. And so uh, you can download them from here. You can remove them, so they're all placed in 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 this in one place, so they're not scattered all over the network. Um, another interesting integrations that we added on 3.0 network it's an instagram integration and a mailchimp so with an instagram integration now um, you can add content blocks with your photos to any uh, network page from your instagram account and the mailchimp integration it's a uh, it synchronizes the database of your new members and your uh, MailChimp account. So you could run marketing campaigns with uh, advanced MailChimp to <coughs> tools uh, that allows you to easily customize email templates and uh, set uh, specific timing for email delivery. Um, so another section is a custom code. It's uh, so it's presented on 2.0, but here, if we add a code in this section, it will be applied to uh, all pages on your network. And when we were talking uh, about adding some custom code uh, in, in, in inside the page and in the, in the, in the header or in the footer, uh, so the, the code added here, it will be running only for on this particular page. Um, that's it uh, with this section, and um, let's skip uh, to the members section. Um, so it has a lot of similar tools as well. As you can see, uh, we also have the access to uh, the list of uh, members on our network. We can add them to different categories. We can remove them from categories, add them manually to groups, uh, promote them to administrators, or suspend or remove them from network. Also, we can export this um, list of members in a CSV file. And the same broadcast message tool allows you to send um, emails to uh, all of your members or to some specific member category. So you can customize the message with uh, this build tool, so you can um, add different images, media files, you can attach uh, some PDF files. Well, in the settings, you can uh, manage the uh, default profile picture, you can add the default cover picture, you can uh, disallow private messaging or allow it, you can uh, set on the moderation of uh, your, your, your members, uh, you can force them to verify their emails before they can join. So basically everything looks the same and the profile question is the same. And you can add different uh, profile questions with different answer types and you can integrate uh, what they answer you with different categories. Um, what really changed is the way how you can use the member categories now. So if we go back to um, our site and pages section, and if we just pick any page, let's say events page. So now you can define uh, the contribution permission and the visibility settings of each particular page based on the category of the member. So that means that um, it, it could help you to uh, facilitate um, different use case scenarios like multi-level membership scenario that is uh, that was uh, presented uh, this is presented on this particular um, test network so you can have or you can integrate uh, the categories with paywalls and when members uh, join some particular like pay for some particular paywall uh, they can get uh, the specific category and this category will allow them to perform some advanced uh, actions. Some, like you can allow members to add uh, like articles based on their category, or you can um, 
hide some valuable information that you wish to show only to paid members um, based on the category. And um, another thing that was um, introduced is a member's ranking system. And if you remember, when we reviewed the My Profile page, uh, I was talking about this uh, achievements block, like this one. So uh, what uh, member's ranking system is about, well, it's a uh, uh, ranking system allows you to motivate your network members to be more active online. So uh, how it works, well, let's say I want to add like 100 points uh, for uploaded video. So that means that once member uploads new video, he gets a hundred points. Um, I can set like uh, 50 points for each month uh, spent on the network. And in the bottom, I can uh, send some, uh, I can set some uh, limits, like let's say a thousand. So members by reaching the thousand, lim uh, thousand points uh, will get some certain like badge that can be added to the profile page of the member or we can you can also write some text here like top performer let's say uh, and the points and advantages and, and achievements that the members will earn will be shown in this uh, achievements section on the profile page of the member um, also, you can add uh, a leaderboard somewhere on your network. You can just uh, choose a page where you wish it to be added and just click on like, add content, choose a leaderboard. And so uh, it, it will show the, the, the list of members in the descending order based on the number of points that they like have. Um, let's briefly check the content management. Well, it works exactly, almost exactly the same as uh, on 2.0. The one difference is that now, if we want to approve some uh, content, we need to go to the page with this content and click here, approve uh, events before they appear, let's say. So the same could be done with uh, articles, polls, or like, uh, videos, etc. Let's review now the Design Studio. Uh, it also have a lot of uh, similarities to 2.0 version, uh, but the difference is that there is no uh, layout here since uh, you define the layout of each particular page separately in the Sites and Pages section. Um, it also has a list of uh, inbuilt templates to choose from. Uh, you, you can modify the existing templates or you can create your own templates by these tools uh, th that you can see below. So the background can help you to uh, change the background, the overall background of your network. So you can upload a cover photo. You can just, uh, uh, or use, you can use some color or some wallpaper. And the header is a um, section where you moderate this uh, header part of the network so that you can uh, change the positioning of um, main navigation menu so it could be placed to the left, it could be placed to the right, you can control the, the, the width of this uh, header, you can control the height of the header, uh, you can change the background, or you can upload even the picture that will be that will cover the header, uh, you can uh, control the way mm, this uh, text is shown, so you control the the font styles, font sizes, font uh, families. So it's all being managed here. And the page section is about uh, moderating the, the, the look of this uh, page uh, that goes below the, the, the header part. And so you can also change the background of the page. You can change the way, uh, like the way the text on, on the page is shown. You can, again, uh, play with uh, different font families. You can play with the font sizes, font colors, etc. Um, 
it's also we also have the custom CSS. And for those of you who are familiar with a you know, web development, um, it gives you a limitless customization options since you are able now to um, redefine the CSS properties of any element presented on the page. And since uh, each page on 3.0 network has its own uh, unique class, um, you can customize the feel and look of each particular page separately. Um, and remember that this is a live preview. So unless I click publish, no changes will be applied. And so that way you, you don't need any more of the sandbox and you can um, see all the changes before uh, deciding whether to publish them or not. So let's cancel it. And um, another very important difference between 2.0 and 3.0 is that um, all 3.0 networks are by default mobile resp responsive. So if I switch to the mobile view, like this, um, you will see it nicely fits to the screen. So no additional customization or no work is required to make it uh, mobile friendly, which is very important nowadays. And um, the last one, and probably one of the most interesting features that uh, were introduced uh, on uh, 3.0 network, it's, it's e-commerce. So what e-commerce allows you to do is to um, monetize the access to your network or monetize the access to some particular uh, content on your network. Remember, we, set a pay we could set a paywall around blogs, around groups. Also, you can set a paywall around uh, forums, uh, articles, and also you can monetize the access to the group itself, well, I mean, to the network itself. Um, to start working with this feature, we would need to um, go to, let's say, paywalls here. You can see I already created a couple of paywalls. So I can create another one to show you how it, how it works. And here you can see a, uh, the preview of uh, the payment page. It's how it will look uh, on, uh, on the side of the user when the user will get to the paid content. And as a network creator, you define if you want to provide your user with uh, some trial, free trial, you can um, name the paywall, you can write some description, uh, of the paywall. Uh, here you can add different subscription options like this. You can uh, have like one month subscription, you can change the price, you can add another, you can have a like three months or six months subscription. Uh, you can activate the recurring payment, you can change the currency. So um, when everything is said, we just uh, save the paywall. And after it is saved, I'll leave it. Uh, so after it is saved, you can go uh, and apply it to some on some content on your network. Let's say we can go to um, some articles. We can switch uh, to the edit mode of the article here. And you can click on make this content paid and just choose the paywall that we wish to um, to be used uh, for, for this particular purpose. Uh, also, you can set the paywall around the network itself. That means that members, in order to gain access and to register the profile, would need to pay. So it will help you to facilitate another use case. Okay, let me close it. Um, another interesting uh, thing here is that you can run a uh, discount campaigns. So uh, you can create some discounts. So there are different types of discounts that you can have, that you can add. So let's say sales that can be applied to all of your paywalls or um, discount that uh, can be applied to, to a chosen paywall or a 
coupon uh, that uh, offers a member a promo code. So let's just review at least this one. So um, here I can just name it. Let's say coupons for students. I can change uh, the, 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 I can choose the paywall that I wish this coupon uh, to be applied to. And uh, so I can set the some percentage of discount and I can send, uh, set, write a promo code. So and the user when uh, ends, when enters the payment page uh, can enter this promo code and the user will get the discount. So that's how it works. Another thing is if you don't want to charge, uh, to force your members to, to pay you, you can collect donations for, uh, for your cause. And uh, it's another way to, to monetize the network. So you can create a donation. Well, we can just uh, name it donation. This, uh, so we can set the minimum amount donation of maximum amount, the default amount like $50. And we can uh, again change the currency. Let's make it uh, you know, 50 pounds. Um, we can add the recurring subscription and uh, the members who can choose whether they want to donate every month, like they can tick on this box. So, and uh, we can write here some description, they continue. So, uh, and, and on this page, we can um, add the way the donation button looks. So we can just make it squared. We can make it large, change the font style like this. And we can save it. And um, the system offer, offers us this HTML code. So if I copy it, I can go to uh, social site manager and I can choose the page where I want this donation button to be added to. Let's say it's going to be home page. I click on add content, switch to HTML mode, paste this code, edit, drag it up, save it. So now I have the donation button on my home page. Um, the e-commerce also offers you the advanced analytic tools where you can track the you know, invoices, uh, transactions. Um, also, you can see um, invoices uh, here. Uh, you can uh, track all your customers here. You can track the history of payments for a particular customer on your network. Um, and uh, this uh, tool actually has a very good documentation. And if you start playing with this, uh, it has step-by-step uh, -step guidance how to uh, set everything up. So it won't be uh, hard for you to uh, understand how it works. Um, well, and I guess that's it with a presentation and uh, last Oh, I wanted to talk about the migration. Um, what uh, the migration doesn't mean that we will upgrade your current network, and so uh, your current network will stay untouched and until you decide to close it. So the migration means that uh, we will we, we are transferring like all your blogs, uh, forums, photos, uh, videos, comments and members everything over to a new network so uh, to a new 3.0 network so the first step to start the migration is to create a 3.0 network and to do this you can just simply go to link.com enter your link.com account and here you will see this start a 14 days trial well and if you're using the classic version you might see something like this create a new network. So once you click on this, uh, you will be redirected to this page where uh, you'll be asked to choose the network topic and uh, to put the network URL. And it's not really re relevant on this stage because uh, the 
a network topic could be changed in the design studio later if, if you don't like what you changed initially. And the URL could be changed by our team. So if you wish to, after migration, if you wish to swap the URLs so that uh, your you know, new network will have this, the URL of the old network, we can do the swap. So once you launch the network, you have like 14 days to test the platform and to set everything up, like to play with the design, um, set up the structure. And once you're ready to move forward, you can just send the email with a migration request to um, support um, at nin.com, or it's better if it's going to be migration at nin.com. Uh, usually we process requests within 24, 48 hours. The, the, the migration process, um, if everything is okay, should not take more than 24 hours. Um, but it happens that sometimes some content might get lost during the migration, and we would need to restart it again. And remember, as a backup, you, you, your network, your 2.0 network is not uh, like going to disappear. So all the content uh, will, be, will be stored there. So um, I, guess, I guess that is it for today. And uh, now we can jump to a questions part. And I will ask our moderator to provide me with uh, questions from you. And I, I will try to, to answer them. So let me check. Um, the question from uh, GM Hiram Abif. Uh, how can I create a regular website without people becoming a members? Well, uh, if you don't want uh, anyone to join your network and if you wish to uh, just simply have it as a website. You can just simply um, go to the privacy and let's say you can just switch, uh, tick this box on and just save it. And the sign up option will disappear from, uh, from the network. So, um, so the members will not be able to join. So basically that's, that's how you can do this. And thank you for your question. Let's uh, check another one. From Max Hammer, can I combine multiple 2.0 accounts into one new 3.0? Um, I'm not sure if I understood this question correctly. Um, Well, I, I, I guess you mean that you wish to migrate uh, several 2.0 networks on one 3.0 network. If, if that is the case, I'm, I'm afraid it's not possible. Um, and if you please uh, specify what exactly you mean, um, I, I will be able to answer, answer this question more specifically. Just a moment, please. Uh, so uh, the question for from Matt A. Rod. Um, are you sure 3.0 as a photo album album gallery like feature like 2.0? Uh, well, the, the feature uh, the, the photo feature on 2.0 it doesn't have the photo gallery. I'm afraid no. Um, and uh, the the question from Matt Erod. As again, uh, so what's the comment options for blogs and videos? Uh, well, if we go to the video page, um, 
here it is and let's just open it uh, as a network creator you can define whether you wish the comments to uh, to to if you wish to uh, turn all turn on the comments on your network so um, there are different types of comments like uh, flats standard threaded and none so now it's flat which means that if I open any video I can leave some comment so the comment options are available for blogs and videos so and if I go to the blogs where is it blogs uh, basically they're uh, uh, like uh, they work for all types of content like articles photos uh, forums so it's all can be with uh, with comment uh, comment wall option like yes here So uh, the, the, there was this, uh, the, the Max Hammer specified his question. I have two classes on 2.0, and I would like to create a new 3.0 that combines both classes into one using the group feature. Uh, well, it, it depends what the classes means in, in the context of 2.0 functionality. And if you have a, uh, like, to like if the class is a group it's it's not going to be possible to uh, synchronize it automatically inside the um, under 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 one group so you can probably do this manually you can re reinvite members to this uh, specific uh, 3.0 group and that's how you can combine it manually, but not automatically. Well, please let me know if I if I understood your question correctly and if I answered it. Um, question from Matt Erod: uh, Can we use Facebook comment, or do you have to be a member to comment? Uh, so. Um, The Facebook comment uh, is like first. In order to have the Facebook comment, we need to set up a, a Facebook integration first. So we need to uh, go to third-party integration, and we need to all uh, follow the all these uh, steps. Uh, that Facebook will create an application for you, and will provide you with app ID and app secret. Then you can edit here, save it. And after that, you will have the Facebook comments on your network. Um, another question, well, can I share to Instagram? Well, um, with, with our current Instagram integration, you can do the vice versa. So you can, uh, synchronize your Instagram account so that uh, the feed from the, uh, from your Instagram page will be shown on your network, but not vice versa. Uh, from Medirod, uh, can we use Facebook or Discuss to comment on blogs or it is closed to members only? So, um, if, if you set up the Discuss or Facebook, you can like uh, comment even if, if you're not a logged in. If you're not even not logged in, but the, the main condition is that the page uh, should be public. So if the page is private, uh, no one will have access. Uh, no, uh, like non -log non uh, logged in users won't be able to see that, and the uh, visibility of the page you can control uh, in the site and pages section. Uh, 
uh, can you show us what the photo album gallery feature looks like from Max Hammer? Um, well, let me show it to you. It's photos. Let's click on view. So uh, remember that we also can add different uh, categories of photos here. So that's how this uh, photo page looks. If you add different categories, we can uh, structure the content based on the categories and so that we can filter th through relevant uh, items we are looking for. And um, also, let me open this photo page. So um, that's how it looks when it's opened. So you can scroll here. As you can see, you can also comment the photos. And uh, if we go to the edit mode of the photo, we can uh, we have an option to also tag it and put some description to it. Um, And the, the question from Susanna, um, I'm sorry if I missed this, but I guess I didn't get the information on getting any emitting space on 3.0. Well, um, three, like it, it, it depends on what you mean by the emitting space. So if, if you're talking about um, some sort of uh, like uh, video chat, well, this is not available. Uh, we don't have inbuilt video chat tool for for such meetings. If uh, you want to um, like uh, have a chat with the people, we have a chat be a chat ch chat feature that could be used uh, to have a, a chat in the real time. So, if if I go to let's say uh, to side and pages section, let me add this chat here let's edit chat David. so we have uh, here a main room where we can chat with all members we can uh, create some uh, closed groups uh, with so with uh, specific members so we can uh, have some private chats with them so th th that is that is doable and if you are uh, looking to like uh, s s uh, schedule some sort of uh, event w w where m where members can meet and uh, communicate uh, you can use the event feature and let's say let's add the event Uh, so when, when adding the event, you set in the specific time, specific date, uh, specific time zone, the description, and as a location of the event, uh, you you can use let's say um, a, a link to a Zoom meeting, for example. So that's can work as can work as a workaround. Yeah. Um, well, I guess, uh, do, do we have any other questions? Well, I just noticed a question from Amy. So I'm a legacy user and my community um, predates version 2.0. I have been unable to upgrade it. Well, um, could, could, could you please send uh, us a, to support at nin.com your question uh, with a link to a network so that we can check uh, what exactly happened because I, I do not have an answer to this question now. So 
please send uh, your question to support at neem.com and we will answer you. So um, I guess uh, so since there is no more questions for now, um, I would like to thank you all for your attention and I really do appreciate you have managed to find a time in your schedule. Uh, once again, this uh, webinar will is, is recorded and it will be on our uh, YouTube channel so that you can address, address it later. You can put your comments underneath, or you can send us your feedback. Uh, and once again, thank you so much and uh, hope to see you next month on the new webinar.